dogs and Englishmen go out to the midday sun. The Japanese don't care to, the Chinese wouldn't dare to. Hindus and Argentines sleep firmly from 12 to 1. But Englishmen detest a siesta. In the Philippines, there are lovely screens to run the glare. In the Malay states, there are hats like plates which the British don't wear. At 12 noon, the natives swoon and no further work is done. But mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday, out to 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 the midday sun. The cold wintry Sunday morning. Competitors arrive for a round of the Duckham's Trials Championship, just as they do every Sunday throughout the winter, all over the... This small band of enthusiasts and their families take part in the low-cost motorsport, Trials. The cars are homemade from kits and spare parts, but even so, regulations are strict and RAC scrutineers carefully examine each car before the event. <laughs> Trials is one of the safest forms of motorsport and casualties are almost unknown. The tyres are kept at very low pressures to increase traction or grip on the steep and slippery course. As latecomers arrive, Stuart Elms prepares his car for the start of the competition. To help cope with the difficult conditions, the cars have a separate electric fan for the radiator, as overheating is a big problem, and a separate brake for each of the rear wheels. By expert use of these fiddle brakes, both traction and maneuverability are increased. Mike Velasco, taking it very easily down this slope to avoid overshooting the sharp turn at the bottom. The passenger's job is to alter the center of gravity as the car twists, turns, climbs, descends, slips and slithers its way over the course. This not only increases traction, it stops the car from toppling over. Colin Walker and his wife Jean as passenger work as a team to maneuver their car over this course. Down slowly, carefully. They mustn't miss that sharp bend. Hard on the throttle and over the ridge. This part of the course is dry and sandy, a treacherous surface at speed. They're going well. No, they're not going to manage those last few feet. Two penalty points. If they had reached the top, they would have scored a clear round. The higher you go, the lower the penalty scored against you. Just who are these people who give up their Sundays to climb hills with motor cars? Salesmen, farmers, mechanics. People with a love for cars and a motorsport they can take part in. Sid Seeley, a veteran of trials since the 30s, is there with a word of friendly advice for the newcomers. Despite the problems, everyone makes it and they are ready for the off. The fan is on. The engine sounds good. And they're off. Watch those rear wheels spin, despite the efforts of the passenger. Gordon Jackson, 1970 British Trials champion with his wife Peggy. They work as a team, a combination of weight distribution and subtle use of power and those fiddle brakes. Tony Tickle driving here. The passenger's contribution in conditions like this is essential. You can see, 
Even with the more efficient electric fan, the water in the radiator is boiling. Derek Green, champion of the 750s in Puffin, going very fast. Too fast. The car mustn't touch the marker poles. Or roll backwards. If it does, the driver is penalised from that point and cannot go on. Colin and Jean again. They're going very well. They're stuck. Come on. Jean is a good passenger. Look how she moves about the car, keeping her weight over the rear wheels, making them bite through that mud. No. No matter how hard you try, sometimes the mud is just too thin. Alec Pine with a new car. The course is cut up now, and very slippery. A time for the unwary to keep clear of those spinning rear wheels. Oh yeah, very funny. Steam from a boiling radiator may look pretty in the winter sunshine, but it can be disastrous to the engine. The only thing to do is to stop and let the engine cool down. Accidents do happen, but casualties are rare. The most recent was a marshal who stepped backwards into a hole and broke his leg. The first competitor on each section never really knows what awaits him, as Hugh and Mary Leggett find out. Colin Walker on Hill 6. The sharp turn through the mud here is proving to be a problem. He misses and clips the pole. A bitter disappointment. Mike Velasco tries it, turns the wheel, and slithers straight off the course. But there's always someone who knows exactly where you went wrong. Derek Green, with his lighter 750, makes the turn where the bigger cars got stuck, but doesn't have the weight to push his way through that deeper mud. No matter how he tries, and tries, Gordon and Peggy Jackson, currently leading the Duckham Championship, carefully analyse their approach to each section. In the previous round, only Derek Green managed that first turn, so a closer inspection is called for to decide exactly where he is going to place the car. On Hill 7, John Benson is trying hard to catch up with the leaders. But luck is not on his side today. John is still very well placed overall and could beat Gordon Jackson for the Duckham's Championship by the end of the season. Although the champion doesn't intend giving away any points. 